Well, mental health experts report that our nation's high school students are experiencing an epidemic of loneliness, which may be contributing to a rise in anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues in young adults. Vegas PBS media crew member Christian Frias reports on student loneliness at his high school. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm a senior at the College of Southern Nevada High School's East Campus, and I'm a part of the Vegas PBS media crew. There's an epidemic striking high schools, and it's one beyond sick days and hot temperatures. It's the feeling of loneliness. I do feel kind of lonely sometimes. My, I have friends, you know, I have people that I hang out with, I have people that I talk to, but there's times where I just feel alone. Do you think students, especially teenagers, are more susceptible to these feelings of loneliness? I think for students, it's because oftentimes they don't feel comfortable with sharing their personal thoughts. They don't feel comfortable with telling what's going on in their home. I think that part of it is that they are very much involved with who they per perceive themselves to be. And they think that they're the only ones that are like that. And they think that other people won't understand them. And so rather than give other people a chance to get to know them, they fall back. I guess for teenagers who are students, um, how would, you, how would you presume that these people are being um, a little bit more isolated and alone? I feel like students themselves, really just, it's hard, you know, especially here in this school. We have high school and then we also have work on top of that and then we also have college on top of that. That's three big things. And really it is hard to make new friends. You know, we're really just trying to get through school, really just trying to get our graduation, trying to get our futures going. If loneliness got to a point where you needed help, do you think you and your fellow classmates would actually ask for help? It takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of effort to come out and ask for help. And if there was, and if it really came down to that point where I was in desperate need and I needed help, I would most definitely ask for help. What are some ways that students can, can combat and kind of face this feeling of loneliness? I will say this. I, I'm always very proud of this generation and always in awe of them at how open they are to the idea of therapy and going to see a counselor. I think that's, that's a great start for young people if they have access. But then also, I think they should look for clubs and organizations that offer opportunities that they're interested in. Because when they go to those places, they'll see there are other people that are like me too. And then they can interact with more people. But they have to take the step to put themselves out there in order to gain that reward. I do just want to say that if you're feeling alone, just don't be scared to try and seek out, you know, there's always going to be some, someone there to help, you know, don't feel like you're the only one alone going through it, you know, a lot of people go through it and you're always going to overcome it, just never give up, keep going. The rate of people and students feeling more lonely has grown, but there is help. Students can use available resources such as CSN's counseling and psychological services to deal with these emotions. Christian, thank you so much for this important report. If you or someone you know needs help, please take a look at your screen. There are organizations you can reach out to. CCSD offers Care Solace. You can find the contact information on your screen.